Hello, good people of Bills Nation, and happy Thanksgiving. It is Thanksgiving night here at the Superdome. There you see Sean Payton getting ready to lead his New Orleans Saints against your Buffalo Bills, led by Josh Allen. No updates here yet, so let's immediately get into the action here in New Orleans as we enter Week 12. Your Buffalo Bills sit atop the AFC East as there you see Alvin Kamara getting his guys fired up for this Thanksgiving night matchup. Playoffs are right around the corner. The NFL Draft will soon be upon us. Stay tuned for information on that. Coming to Snyderman Broadcasting in the very near future. But away we go as Tyler Bass boots this one into the end zone. And it's going to be taken out. And the Saints will have the ball first right around their own 24-yard line. Where they will be led into battle tonight by Taysom Hill. A quarterback with a lot of questions, but he's been having a great season so far. 2,400 yards, 15 touchdowns, and 6 interceptions on this campaign. Hill is an unconventional quarterback to say the least, but so far the Saints have been having a good luck with him. As there you see Kamara running for a few yards there. Uh, last week he had 15 touches for 85 yards, and of course the highlights of his week last week were three touchdowns but this drive is going to stall and the saints are going to have to punt they are only only going to get four yards total on that drive and not much else going on on the return uh there by mckenzie so there you see josh allen ready for his first drive he also has 2400 yards on the campaign 22 touchdowns and 12 interceptions that's been the story all year long, cleaning up those interceptions for Josh Allen. That is the big story. Handoff to Singletary here on first down. Only gets a couple. Uh, let's call it two yards there. Singletary had a good week last week himself, 109 yards and one touchdown. Touchdowns have not come easy for Singletary this year. Most of that has been due to the fact that the Bills have gone to Moss in the red zone more often than they do Singletary. Screen to Singletary now. That is going to fall short. He will be short by about four yards there on third and nine. So the first two drives of the game will end in punts for both teams. And Sean Payton very happy with that stance by his defense. There you see the, the coverage was there, but Singletary couldn't get any blocking whatsoever. So Allen able to get the ball out to Singletary, but again... They will have to punt it away, and there you see Kamara ready to, lead, ready to lead this Saints offense back onto the field. First and 10 now from their own 20-yard line. Quick pass out, and I cannot tell who that receiver is for the Saints. Give me just a moment. That would be Harris uh, that Hill finds on first down, and that will lead to another first and 10 for the Saints. However, this little... Uh, Series is going to stall out at third and six. Hill out of the gun. He is going to find Kamara on the sideline, but he's going to be a yard short. Kamara running out of bounds, make that two yards short on third down, bringing up fourth and two as Josh Allen gets ready to lead his Bills onto the field for their second drive of the ball game. A quick action here this first quarter. Not a lot to speak of. No team has scored so far. Allen out of the gun, hands off to Singletary, who is going to push forward, and I do mean push forward, for about, call it three yards there on the carry. So Singletary bullying the New Orleans defense there. Play action, finds Diggs, Diggs down the sideline. He's going to get a big gain, big gain for this Bills offense. Call it 17 yards on that catch, and... You love to have a weapon like Diggs if you are a quarterback. The addition of Diggs uh, last year was huge for the progression of Josh Allen. Hopefully, uh, this Bills team can make an even, even deeper run in, into the playoffs this year. And by that, I do mean Super Bowl. Allen is going to roll out, and he's going to find Diggs again for the Bills touchdown. So your Bills are going to be on the board first here late in the first quarter. Allen just with the rollout, finding Diggs, 
wide open there and Diggs finding his way into the end zone for a score. Allen couldn't be happier. And that will lead Taysom Hill and this Saints offense onto the field yet again here at the end of the first quarter, about three minutes left uh, in the quarter. Hill drops back. He is going uh, to find his receiver wide open there along the left hash. Hill again going for a quick pass. This one does not find its mark, and that will be a big stop on third and inches for these Bills defense. And there you see Diggs had a touchdown on the last drive. He would love, absolutely love to repeat that uh, here in this drive. Allen out of the gun, Singletary in the backfield. They will hand it off to Singletary, who again is just going to bully his way through the New Orleans defense. And that will be a first down on the very first play. And that will push Singletary up over a 1,000 yards for this campaign. Make that 1,014 yards on the 2021 season for Singletary. And he was not going to be stopped on that play. He bulldozes a defender, carries the linebacker a good five yards before they're finally able to bring him down. He does get the first uh, first and 10 from the Saints 44 play action to Singletary Allen airs it out looks for Beasley couldn't find the receiver but there is some laundry on the field and Mr. Official is going to call that a pass interference which will put the Bills at the Saints 23 here to end the first quarter one more play is going to go off they'll hand it to Singletary he'll get maybe three on that play that'll be enough for a Bills first down to end the very first quarter of play with your score 7-0. to This broadcast of the NFL right here on Snyderman Broadcasting will be continuing all season long, so don't miss a beat of Bills action as Allen finds Singletary in the very first play of the quarter, uh, puts the Bills in the five-yard line. Let's call it the one. They will be looking uh, to put another touchdown on the board here. But this New Orleans defense has been tough in the red zone in this campaign. Moss in the backfield. As Allen is under center, they will hand it to Moss. And Moss will bulldoze his way into the end zone. That's exactly what we were talking about earlier this game. Whenever this Bills team does get within five yards of the end zone, you can expect the ball to go to Zach Moss. Zach Moss has been an absolute beast in the red zone this year for this Bills offense. You love to have that two-headed rushing attack from Singletary and Moss. Defenses are going to have a tough time preparing for both of those runners. Taysom Hill leading his guys out onto the field for the first time in the quarter. Uh, about 11 minutes, just shy of 11 minutes left in the second quarter. Hill will hand the ball off to Kamara, and Kamara's going to pick up a couple. Not a great day for Kamara so far. Four rushes, just 12 yards uh, for the workhorse of this Saints offense today. All kinds of time for Taysom Hill, but that pass is going to be deflected that would be Tavon Johnson, the young quarter cornerback uh, for this Bills defense. That'll bring up fourth and nine, and the Saints are going to have to give the ball right back to these Bills. That would be Taron Austin there on the deflection. Here's Josh Allen now. You can see that nine for 11, 110 yards on the day. One touchdown, no interceptions. You love to see that. That is not something we've been able to say a lot this year uh, in regards to Mr. Allen. Uh, Singletary, not a whole lot on that play. Eight rushes, 26 yards uh, for Singletary on the day. Play action to Singletary. Allen rolls out. He's going to scramble. He is going to be taken down after getting the first. And oh, no. Allen having a hard time getting up. That will be... Uh, a situation we have to keep an eye on for the rest of the game. Mitchell Trubisky uh, is going to come in for the Bills. He's going to find Knox on his first throw of the day. Trubisky playing for a starting job somewhere. 
uh, it will not be for this Bills as he hands the ball off to Singletary. So the Bills making me eat my words, giving the ball to Singletary within the five-yard line. Singletary finds a touchdown. Uh, but as I was saying, uh, Trubisky really on a prove-it deal here for the Bills, and he is in no way going to get the starting job for these Bills. Obviously, when you have a good young quarterback like a Josh Allen, um, you don't really have question marks at that position. However, Trubisky could be playing for a starting job somewhere else next year, provided he can uh, show some good, good reps here in this game against the Saints. We will give you an update on Josh Allen as soon as we have it. But that would be Taron Austin again. Or Taron Johnson, rather. Uh, excuse me for the mistake. Uh, Taron Johnson with the stop for Alvin Kamara. And Kamara's just having a tough time uh, keeping this keeping this rushing attack going against the Bills today. However, the Saints will be driving uh, second and four. Less than a minute left to play in the quarter. Hill is going to find his tight end out in the flat. And that will be a first down leading to a timeout for the Saints, who are down 21 uh, with one minute left to go in the half. Saints now within the five-yard line, and there was just nobody there for Prentice. Prentice wide open in the end zone. That will put the Saints on the board before the half, and Sean Payton loves to see that. But as you can see, Hill all kinds of time, Prentice wide open there in the flat yet again uh, for the Saints as they do put seven on the board before we head in to halftime. Uh, quick update on Josh Allen before we go into the half. He had a strain, a shoulder strain, but we will see him back in action in the second half. So evidently it's not that serious, not too worried about it. Uh, apparently on that medical side of things for the Bills. Uh, as you can see, this Thanksgiving Day, the Bears went into Detroit and beat the Lions. No shocker there. Uh, but a really good game against uh, the Dallas Cowboys and the Las Vegas Raiders. But the Cowboys do come out on top 31-19. Both teams vying for playoff contention in that game. Uh, Monday night, we do have the Seahawks going over to Washington to play the football team, but we are back here for some second half action here in the Caesar Superdome as McKenzie is going to take this first half kickoff right about to the 26, so he gets a little extra yardage uh, there as opposed to the typical 25-yard touchback. Uh, McKenzie been a pretty good return man for the Bills this year. However, they may be looking to upgrade that position in the offseason. We will just have to see. Uh, but the Buffalo Bills offense now on the field for the first time. Josh Allen has to have some problems with that shoulder because that will be an Alexander interception on the second play of the drive. That will be a pick. And you have to wonder if Allen's shoulder is bothering him. We will have to keep an eye on that moving forward uh, in the second half. He sure didn't look like himself on that throw. Uh, but the Saints are driving now. And Saints within the five-yard line. Hill is going to find the tight end. Troutman and Troutman gets in for another Saints touchdown. So all of a sudden, a lead that was once 21-0 is now 21-13 for the Buffalo Bills. Uh, their uh, kicker, Mr. Mayer, is going to make it 21-14. But as you can see, Troutman would not be denied by Johnson on that touchdown throw. Hill loves to see it. Peyton loves to see it. The Bills... Don't really love to see it, as here comes Josh Allen and this Bills offense handoff to Singletary. Singletary again breaks a tackle, again gets a first down. 15 rushes already, 75 yards for Devin Singletary. It is now third and goal on the six-yard line, as Allen has these Bills moving. Allen finds Knox out in the flat, and Knox dives in for a touchdown. Didn't look like the shoulder bothered Allen on that throw. Uh, didn't really look like it bothered him on that drive. But again, 
with that pick earlier, that throw did not look that good. That one looked a little bit better there on the Knox touchdown. Uh, we've been singing Knox praises all season long. He's a great hand to have. Uh, but there you can see Taysom Hill's stats on the last drive, 4-4, four for four, uh, leading to the Saints touchdown. It is 21-14 Buffalo uh, here late in the third quarter. Kamara is going to be pushing, but he will be stuffed. Kamara having a tough time getting things going against this Bills defense all day long. Peyton and his offensive coordinator trying to figure it out there on the sideline. Not sure what they need to do to get Kamara going. Uh, but that stuff will stall the drive. It is fourth and eight. Meyer out for a field goal. And that kick is good. So make that 28-17 Buffalo as the third quarter is going to come to an end with that kick. That will be our score heading into the final quarter of this Thanksgiving evening day. Happy Thanksgiving. Hopefully you are not asleep on the couch listening to the sultry sound of my voice from eating too much turkey. But fourth quarter action right here available for you as Allen is going to drop back. He is going to look for Beasley. And again, that throw, that throw did not look right from Allen there. So maybe some shoulder issues. Big pass to Beasley is going to end up about three yards short. On 3rd and 23, they had to go big. Allen's shoulder looked fine there, so it's been hit or miss all half. Uh, but that will lead to a 4th and 2, and the Bills are going to have to give the ball back to Taysom Hill and these New Orleans Saints. So there was a connection to Beasley there, but it was not enough. Uh, just short for the Bills, and here comes Taysom Hill and the Saints offense. They've been having a good second half, putting up a little bit of points here, closing this gap. But there is Taron Johnson. Taron Johnson with a big interception. And that will put the Bills at about the 25-yard line, the Saints' 25-yard line on that pick. And Hill just didn't see him. Johnson just sticks the route, jumps it, gets the pick, and gets a nice return on that interception. Here comes Josh Allen, 20 for 25, 220 yards on the day, two TDs, and of course, uh, that strange interception. We won't fault Allen for that one. He was having shoulder pain there to start the half, but it looks to be fine now as he just finds digs on the first play of this short drive. It is now first and goal from the five for the Buffalo Bills. Allen drops back and he is just going to take it in himself for yet another Bills touchdown. So Allen doing it with his legs rather than his arm on that touchdown play. Um, maybe, maybe stick to throwing the football, Allen. Uh, certainly your dance moves. Yikes. Uh, here comes Taysom Hill, though. Very similar numbers, actually, to Josh Allen today. Uh, two TDs, one touchdown, but he will be sacked by Epinesa. Hill stepped up in the pocket, but was immediately taken down by Epinesa. That will be a sack lunch for the leading sack crew in the NFL. Uh, this line and this linebacker core for the Buffalo Bills has just been absolutely insane this season uh, as Hill is going to drop back once again. He's going to take another sack. That looked like Milano. Edmonds scoops up the fumble and that will be a scoop and a score for the Bills defense. So now all of a sudden the Bills are running away with this game making it 41-17 uh, here late in the game. Bass's extra point will make it 42-17 for these Bills. It is first and 10 for Hill and this Saints offense. They're going to drop back, attempt to throw. I mean, what else can you do? Uh, nice little toss out. Uh, that would be Troutman on the sideline. Hill does have the Saints driving here late in the game. He's going to toss it up, 
and that will be that will be a big connection for a Humphreys touchdown that will put some points on the board for the Saints right at the end of the game but unfortunately that will not be enough for this Saints team who are going to lose this game really didn't have a chance right off the bat when they dropped uh dropped behind 21 nothing uh to 21 nothing to uh the bills and then 21 7 at the half you kind of knew then it was over they did put up a fight they didn't go down without some effort so good effort by hill and the saints nothing to be ashamed of but it will be 42 to 24 your final score here on Thanksgiving evening. And the Bills add yet another win to their total for this campaign. But around the NFL, the Bears, as we said, beat the Lions. Uh, Dallas beats the Raiders. Indy upsets Tampa Bay. Houston beats the Jets. The G-Men beat uh, Philadelphia. Miami beats Carolina. New England upsetting Tennessee and New England is pushing for that playoff spot. Cincinnati in AFC North action beats the Steelers. Jacksonville, a highlight of the season, beats Atlanta. Denver with a win over the Chargers. Green Bay beats the Rams by three. San Francisco beats Minnesota. Baltimore beats Cleveland. And of course, the football team beat the Seattle Seahawks. Uh, there's a look at your playoff tree for, as it sits right now uh, before week 13. The Super Bowl runs through Buffalo and it runs through Arizona as we sit, but the AFC and NFC are both wide open uh, as it sits right now. So there could be a lot that changes with these playoffs before it comes time. Uh, right now, the Bills, the Chiefs, and the Bengals are all competing for that number one spot in the AFC. Uh, you have the Jaguars that are competing for a playoff spot. Uh, you have the Patriots. You have all kinds of teams that are competing for that, that playoff position. But it is Monday night, and the Patriots are coming to Buffalo for a AFC East matchup against the Buffalo Bills here at Highmark Stadium. Josh Allen, Devin Singletary, Stephon Diggs, Ed Oliver... Greg Rousseau, they are ready to do battle in this big rivalry, and they are ready to prove that they are not the little brother in the AFC East anymore. For years, this division was dominated by the New England Patriots, and the Bills are going to be looking to basically break that stereotype, and they are hoping that they can take advantage of the rookie quarterback, Mac Jones who New England certainly hopes is the second coming of Tom Brady. That remains to be seen. Um, certainly a lot of upside for young Mr. Jones here as he is under center to lead his team into Buffalo. He just continued to drop back and he took a sack. That would be Epinesa on the big sack. Jones Lee losing 13 yards and... Epinesa packed a lunch already. That would be a sack lunch for Mr. Epinesa as he takes down Jones for a big 13-yard loss. And that is the story of the first drive for these New England Patriots as they will have to punt it away on 4th and 17 where McKenzie is going to take the punt. He probably should have fair caught it there. Maybe got a yard on the return if I'm being generous. But here comes Josh Allen. Josh Allen with a big game last week. That shoulder seems to be in good working order for this primetime Monday night matchup uh, against the rival Patriots. And Allen does have the Bills driving on the first drive. It is third and 15, however. Allen drops back looking for Diggs. Big catch by Diggs. Diggs leaping up over the defender getting his 750th yard on this campaign uh, on that big pass. 
from Josh Allen. Moving the chains as the poise in the pocket. He had all day to throw, and again, Diggs just goes up over the defender, comes down with a great catch, keeping this Bills drive alive. Allen rolls out. He's just going to scramble, and that is going to be an 18-yard scamper from Josh Allen. 18-yard scramble. That will be career touchdown number 30 for Josh Allen. And again, Josh Maybe stick to throwing the football. Maybe stick to running it. Clearly you can. Dancing, probably not your forte, my friend. But here comes Mac Jones leading the New England Patriots out for their second drive of the game. Third and three. Jones all day to throw. He's going to find Aguilar. Aguilar knocks down Richard Sherman. Get out of my way as that will be a 14-yard reception for Aguilar as the Patriots move the chains and Aguilar, watch this, boom, bullies Richard Sherman on that big, big pass from Mac Jones. Jones drops back. He's going to find the tight end. And, oh my God, that's a fumble. Bills have the ball. That will be a turnover. Micah Hyde with the fumble recovery as, as Jones found, I believe that was Henry. I believe that was Henry that he found on that pass. Uh, this will be reviewed, though. It might have it looked like that, that ball might have been knocked out. Yeah, right there. The ball knocked out of Henry's hands by the ground so this will not this will not be going back to buffalo as they will overturn the fumble call it is still patriots ball here at the end of the first quarter jones looking to throw again doesn't see milano sitting in the middle milano down the sideline he's at the 30 the 20 the 10, he could go, and it's a touchdown for the Buffalo Bills. That'll be a pick six from Matt Milano, 73 yards on that interception return, and Jones just didn't see him. Milano was sitting in the middle of the field the whole time, and the rookie quarterback just didn't see him sitting there. Costly interception. But he's going to have to learn that he needs to put those plays out of his mind. Short-term memory makes a good quarterback, especially when it comes to those big INTs. He's going to find his tight end in the flat. And that will end the first quarter. So that interception proved very costly. Bills up 14-0 as we end the first quarter. Uh, but as I was saying, Jones has to have a short memory. He can't let big plays like that limit what he's doing. And right now, he has the Patriots driving as they are at the 40 of Buffalo. Make that the 17 later in the drive. First and 10, Jones, pump fake. He is going uh, to get a big gain here, but it could be erased depending on the flag. And that's going to be holding on New England. Trent Brown, their right tackle, Gets called with a hold there, and that's going to erase a big gain on the Patriots' side of the ball. All day to throw for Jones. Fi oh my gosh. Aguilar mosses Richard Sherman. Aguilar just jumped right over Richard Sherman, said, Thank you. That is mine. That makes it six to 14 in favor of Buffalo now. Beautiful catch by Aguilar in the back of the end zone. Just completely outleaps Sherman there to get the ball, and that will be 7 to 14 New England as the uh, point after by Mason Crosby uh, is good. 
as Allen leads the, his men out onto the field yet again. Called an audible there. Allen pump fakes, but he's going to get blasted by Van Oy. Van Oy with the sack. And I don't know if that was so much a pump fake as it was a, oh my gosh, I'm about to get blasted. Either way, Allen goes down hard on first down. Third and four now from the 32. Allen's going to drop back again. He's going to find... No, Diggs drops the third down pass. So Allen was looking for Diggs there. Hits Diggs in the hands. And I don't know if the defender knocked that loose or if Diggs just couldn't bring that ball in. Either way, that's a big drop on third and four leading to a Bills punt. He just dropped that ball. Well, I don't know. Maybe the defender did knock that out after all, but the Bills are going to punt that away. Either way, Mac Jones back under center. Hand off to Harris. Harris jukes the defender. He's going to push for about a seven-yard gain. Uh, so really, some of the only yards Harris has been able to get so far on the day, third and two, and there's a flag on the play. That'll be a false start on the Patriots. Make that third and seven. Uh, ball will be at about the 39-yard line for Jones and company as Jones is now out of the gun. Jones is going to drop back, look, and that's going to be Levi Wallace. Levi Wallace with a interception gives the Bills pretty good field position. They will take over at the New England 48 with six minutes left to go in the half. And here comes the Bills offense. They're looking to roll. It is 14-7 Buffalo. Allen does have the Bills driving. Allen's going to drop back. He's not going to waste any time finding Beasley for a touchdown. Beasley, great slot hand uh, to have. Allen loves him. Allen loves all the weapons that he has on this offense. And that is six more points for the Bills, making it 20-7. to Bass's extra point will make it 21-7. Buffalo as Mac Jones looks to get over this interception bug. Hand off to Harris and Harris. That's the, been the story of Harris's day. 11 rushes, only 35 yards on the day for Harris as he is stuffed by Edmonds. Just absolutely nowhere to go as Edmonds just sheds that block and takes Harris down in the backfield. Two minutes left to go in the half now as Jones is backed up to his own 12. Harris again, he's going to be stuffed. At the 10-yard line, fourth and forever for this New England team. And again, Edmonds, he just was unblocked. He didn't even shed a block there. He just had an alley that he ran through and took Harris down to end the Patriots' hope of putting points on the board before the half. However, Bass is going to put three more points on the board as we go to halftime 24 to 7 buffalo heading in to halftime there you see the stats there 120 yard 120 yards passing snyderman inc would like to say thank you to our unofficial sponsor dungeons and dragons have fun with your friends in a fantasy world by playing some Dungeons & Dragons, which is not affiliated with Snyderman Broadcasting in any way, shape, or form. But if we look around the NFL, we can see the Raiders with a bounce-back victory against the Washington football team this week. Uh, we also see there the Cowboys go into New Orleans and get a big victory on Thursday night. The Chiefs destroy the Broncos, uh as well as the Bengals destroying the Chargers. So things still tight atop the AFC playoff race. Um, the Jags go into Los Angeles and destroy the Los Angeles Rams. 
So look out for these Jaguars. It's second half football here in Buffalo. But look out for those Jacksonville Jaguars. They are going to be an interesting team. They have been all year. But that is a statement victory for Jacksonville. Trevor Lawrence vying for Offensive Rookie of the Year. Those Jags, they might be something uh, special here. We will have to see. But Singletary's going to end up getting the ball on this first play. He's going to pick up a couple. Uh, Allen and Singletary have these Bills driving there in the red zone. First and goal from the nine. About seven minutes left to play in the quarter. Allen finding Gabriel Davis for the score. Gabriel Davis, another good young receiver. You don't hear his name called a lot, uh, quite frankly, because when you have Sanders and Diggs and Beasley all above him on the depth chart, I don't think he gets on the field nearly as much as the Bills or uh, himself would like him to be on the field. So perhaps look for more passes to be thrown in Davis's direction. Look for Davis to be on the field a little bit more uh, here in the near future as Jones goes for a pass and that is deflected and that is the story of their first drive. That's really the story of the game for New England. But this is a great punt. That is going to pen the Bills back. Oh, unlucky break as it rolls into the end zone for a touchback. As Josh Allen will take over at the 20-yard line. 17 for 20, 167 yards, two touchdowns. Davis not on the field for this play as the Bills are now at the New England 41 on second and three. Diggs gets the first down and more as he is by far Josh Allen's favorite target, and I would bet that Diggs has no regrets moving from Minnesota to Buffalo. But there you see our score, 31-7, to end of the third quarter. That big pass to Diggs uh, puts these Bills in great position. Allen looking for Diggs again and finding Diggs again for another Buffalo First down, 214 yards passing on the day for Josh Allen as he's going to drop back. And he just didn't see, much like Jones didn't see the defender earlier, Allen didn't see Bethel there. Bethel gets a big interception in the red zone, wasn't going anywhere. He didn't move. Allen just didn't see him. So the Patriots end up with the ball deep in their own territory. Ball on the eight. Jones continues to drop back, and that is Rousseau for the safety. Make it 33-7 Buffalo. As Jones, rookie mistake, just drop back, drop back, drop back. He should have stepped up in the pocket, maybe even thrown that ball away, but Rousseau... Picking up the safety for the Buffalo Bills as McKenzie is going to take the free kick as a result of the safety. And the Bills are going to take over at their own 35-yard uh, line. About 19 yards per return uh, for McKenzie on the day. Not bad, not bad. You got uh, Allen dropping back. He's going to find Davis again, and that will be a second Touchdown pass to Gabriel Davis. So we talked about him. He wants to get more involved in this offense. I think the Bills would love to see him get more involved in the offense. He's a big receiver. Could be a very, very useful hand uh, later on as Sanders and Beasley are not going to be around forever. Uh, so we would love to to see Davis get a bigger role and an even bigger role in seasons to come. But it is 40-7, all Buffalo on this Monday night as Jones is going to find Henry for the first down on the first play of the drive. Jones 
seemingly for the first time has the Patriots moving uh, here late in the quarter. And just as I say that, Tehran Austin, or I keep doing that, Tehran Johnson for the interception. One of these days, I will get it right. Maybe it's a little too much eggnog as we just passed Thanksgiving and it is getting close to Christmas time, but that will seal the deal for your Buffalo Bills. 47 as Matt Breda scored late in the game, making it 47 to 7. Buffalo, as they just dominated, absolutely dominated the New England Patriots here at Highmark Stadium. And you want to talk about a statement victory. That was a statement victory for these Buffalo Bills. However, thank you for joining us here on this Monday night for this nice doubleheader of the NFL on Snyderman Inc. Broadcasting. Make sure that you do stay in touch with us. More information on the NFL Draft as well as the NFL playoffs to come on Snyderman Broadcasting. But have a good day, and we are out of here, Bills Nation.